Okay, are we live? Hey guys, this is Bobby Clue with the Somerset Pulaski County Chamber of Commerce. We're back at it again for another one of our virtual ribbon cuttings out and about today on West Highway 80. Uh, we're gonna we're at uh, Bluegrass Marble and Granite. Kevin and Lindsay Guzman. I said it right. We practiced. <laughs> so thank you all very much for taking a little bit of time so we can learn a little bit more about your your business. So tell me a little bit about Bluegrass Marble and Granite. So uh, you have uh, another location in Richmond. Yes. Uh, why Marble and Granite? How did you get into this business? Well, I grew up in the, in the industry, started out in a family business, um, and then we decided to go on our own, start our own granite shop in Richmond, which is where we started from. And then um, Lindsay's from this area. Mm -hmm. uh, she's from Jamestown. Uh, Russell County, and uh, so we were, were drawn over here. Sure. And thought like Plus County might need some help, and we wanted to help grow this community and and be a part of the community as well. You know, it's interesting how many businesses that we see that might be there's a bug uh, that might be located or headquartered out of somewhere else, and then they have a second or third or a fourth mm -hmm. location in Pulaski County. Yeah. I, I think that happens a lot just because of the growth that's occurring. Yeah. in our community i mean it's hard to believe sometimes when we look back but you know 10 years ago this was a different community i remember when i grew up here yeah. you know i grew up out this road right here in nancy and i will tell you this you know most of this wasn't here it's so yeah. busy now so we're starting to see a lot of that starting to see a lot of construction a lot of new builds a lot of things that probably need marble and granite right yeah so tell me who are you, who is your your demographic or your primary customer maybe that's the thing I, I think of and this is where I don't know a lot about this business so you'll have to educate me marble and granite I think countertops is yes. the first thing I think of yep. bathrooms kitchens things like that I'm sure there's a million other things you know fireplaces what where who's your demographic that you guys work with obviously anybody remodeling their kitchen or their bathroom um, retail uh, we do a lot of commercial in Richmond a lot of uh, apartment complexes are going up we do that too. The big new thing now is we can actually do porcelain on shower walls, and that's a big, it's coming to this area. It's a big thing. No one wants grout anymore. They're over the grout line. So okay. we're now able to do like porcelain shower walls that look like marble. Wow. We don't have that upkeep as the tile you would. Wow, that would be very handy, wouldn't it, for yeah. cleaning and yeah. upkeep? That would be really nice. I hate grout. I, I, yeah. I cannot. Yeah, no. And I'm sure that, you know, grout's probably in 99% of the houses in America, but yeah. if you're looking for those those upgrades, you know, yeah. and I'm sure, you know, not only new builds, but remodels, you know, they're yeah. looking for, you know, ways to maximize the value of their home. You know, granite and marble are the ways to do that, I yes. would think. You know, really, you know, taking that uh, that cheap countertop and putting something nice in there. You know, it's really, you know, it's like putting a brand new set of tires and wheels on a car. You know, it can really increase the value yes. of your home. Well, that's fascinating. So just for a point of reference for everybody, we're out here on West Highway 80. Uh, go past Lake Cumberland Funeral Home. Go past Kentucky Farm Bureau uh, Insurance. We're right across the street from Bob McGalpin's house. I know a lot of people know where Bob is located at. If you get to Mac Metal you've gone too far. Turn around and come back and you can't miss these guys. They're right here on the, the side of the road. You cannot miss them. Uh, very easy to get to. From Highway 27, you're about two minutes off yeah. the highway. It's a, And traffic counts through here are busy anyway, but it very easily located. So um, could we go inside and talk Definitely. a little bit and just yeah. kind of see the inside here? I'll get the door and I'll follow you all, please. So I don't see, uh, you know, a lot of the, the, the places that I, I know anything about marble and granite, it's like they've got tons of stuff sitting outside. Yes. I'm assuming that this is, maybe that's in Richmond where that's at, and this is more just a place you can come in and, and get the process started. You can do everything here, mm -hmm. but all the product comes from there. Is that kind of? Yeah, yeah. So we have our full slab yard in Richmond. Slab yard, okay. Um, here's more of a showroom uh, style, so you can kind of see some displays, see some samples. Sure. Um, we are cutting a little bit bigger samples to kind of show off a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, so we allow customers come to Richmond if they're willing uh, to hand pick their own material if they like. Gotcha. Um, and, and but you there. probably have samples of all the same stuff. Yes. yes right here yes. so Definitely. you know that's the beauty of having a second or a third location is mm -hmm. you don't you don't have to take that slab yard 
with you. You can just have samples and yep. you can, so people don't have to drive to Richmond. Exactly. And they can make all the same decisions right here. If people have uh, questions about how to maybe get the most bang for their buck in a home remodel project, do you have, can you help them with suggestions on those things? Yeah. Because I'm sure some people come in here and say, you know, I want to do something nice for the house, but I don't exactly know what I want to do. Yeah. You know, how does the, you know, you, you kind of walk them through the process? Yes, yeah, so our, all our sales girls are trained and, and to help our customers with the designs and color choices and then try to stay within their budgets that they have sure. if we can. Um, and then we can show them upgrades and stuff like that, depending uh, what it is. Because a lot of people come in and say, I have an idea what they want, of course. And then they'll come in, we'll give them a price. They're like, well, that's a lot cheaper than I thought. Right. Now let's look at the upgrade stuff because <laughs> they're realizing, oh, maybe my budget is going to fit a little bit better okay. and stuff and all that. So then they're going to choose some stuff maybe a little bit nicer for yeah. their, their taste and yeah. have more of an elegant look sometimes. I know when I go in some of my friends' homes, that's usually where I get some of my best ideas. And I'll, see, yeah. I'll see a countertop and go, man, that's nice. You know, exactly. I want that. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, then, you know, what do you do? You run over here and see you guys, mm -hmm. and you guys can actually make that a reality. So we pick out all the stuff that we want. Then I'm assuming you have an installation team that yeah, so. uh, they measure, cut, do all that, and they come out and install. They do the whole thing. Yeah, we keep everything in-house. So sure. all our uh, template guys, our fabricators and installers are all in-house. They're all staffed by us. Right. Uh, we don't sub anything out, so we know what our employees, who they are, what they've done and stuff like that. So sure. we make sure that our employees are safe to go into people's homes sure, um, and, uh, and take care of the customers with great hospitality and everything as well. But yeah, so we're normally like, if someone comes in, puts a deposit down, we're about a week out before we come out to do a template. Once I template the house for about five, seven days, we'll come back out to install. Okay. Uh, we don't change our dates. Like that's a big rule of ours. Like unless, obviously if we have a blizzard of six inches, we can't make it out. But <laughs> right. we don't change our dates. The dates that we set are the dates that you will get. So you are guaranteed to have a new kitchen by that date. Okay. Wow. Well, you know, I know that there's a, that's probably incredibly important. A good friend of mine is a contractor here in yeah. town, and, and you know, it's so um, it's so difficult to get your subs to hit you know yeah. deadlines. Yes, uh, they will give you a particular date when some particular aspect. I'm not going to throw anybody on the yeah. bus, but a particular <laughs> aspect of something is supposed to be done, and it's not done a lot. So to yeah. have subs and to have work uh, done in, in a new build or a remodel and you say it's going to be done by this particular date and it gets done and in a timely manner that is yes. you know that's that's reason enough everybody should call these guys and, and at least come out here and check out right there because i will tell you that's important to a lot of people yeah, yeah and we've seen it in our own subs when we've built our own home that mm -hmm. subs that we've hired say we're going to be there one day and don't show up for three or four days after I and, don't, don't you know and it drives now. us up the wall and that's something that we strive to make sure that never yeah. happens with our customers. I know you know if a drop of rain hits the ground you don't see them for three or four yes, days you exactly. know, it's, uh, I know the drill it's uh, it's tough well I um, let me ask you this uh, how do people how do people get a hold of you all if they want to if they want to answer some questions so obviously they can come out here what's the address here out on West Highway do we know is it on the card there yes. I, I don't know it it's it's uh, <laughs> 1491 West Highway 80. 1491 yeah. West Highway 80. Are there other ways that they can contact you all and get a yeah, hold of you? Yeah, so you can contact us on Facebook, uh, through email, by phone, um, All it, is text. it just bluegrass, marble, and granite? Is that what we look for on yes, Facebook? Yeah. Or? yeah our we face have a huge Facebook following. So oh, wow. Totally mm -hmm. follow our Facebook, Richmond, and yeah. Social yeah. Location. Yeah, always, um, always posting up um, new sales that we're doing on our Facebook pages. Sure. Um, new pictures of jobs that we're doing, so it gives people ideas of yeah. what we've been doing. Well, that's maybe, good. That's maybe stuff good. they might enjoy and, and sure. all that. As social well. media is. Uh, we find that social media is incredibly handy. You know, some days we might share. We have seventeen, eighteen thousand followers, and we might put out something one day and it might get a thousand followers. Or I put something out for a, uh, a, a camping, uh, upscale camping place mm -hmm. here in the town the other day, and it has nice. got over fifty-five thousand views. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's awesome. awesome. So you never really know yeah. what's going to just kind of grab yeah. and, and, and take off. And that's all organic. You know, we didn't spend mm -hmm. a dollar on that. So if, you know, we can share posts for you guys or, or any of that, that's a, that's a great benefit of, you know, chamber mm -hmm. membership is we're happy to 
refer and promote and do all those yes. all those things for you guys. Uh, well, I, is there anything that I've forgotten in talking about the business? I know that the best way is probably still just to walk in the front door if, they, if you can right. and come out here and, and you've got a great staff and just talk about all the different options. D is this a business that changes a lot? Does it evolve quite a bit or is it pretty, uh, I, I don't know the products, do they change quite a bit? Or? So yeah, there, there's always a, ch a new product coming out. Uh, we are always ahead of the ball when new products come out to be sure. certified in it to make sure our customers can get the, mm -hmm. the best of it. Um, so there is always a change. Um, our material, it's natural, especially in the granite world and the marble world. It's all natural. So as they cut through the quarries and the mountains um, in Brazil and all over the world, the stone will change little by little. I want to put you on the spot. I want, to do, I want a history lesson now. So now that we're, <laughs> now that we're here. Where does the product start at? So the granite and the marble. Where does marble come from? I think granite's pretty common in in, in America. So is actually, marble? Marble. Uh, Colorado has a big marble really um, industry as well. Interesting. Um, so that's where a there lot is of has... some of it comes there. Of course, you got uh, Italy, which mm -hmm. is known for your white Carreras, your marble. It's the marble capital of the world. Sure. Um, Greek has a lot of your onyx. Um, and then Brazil does most of your granite, and then mm -hmm. you got stuff in India. And it's black. They don't really do the yes. black. So it so comes from all over the all world. All over the world. We're actually taking a trip in September. We're going to go pick from the quarry. And Brazil. How and Brazil. fun is that? What yeah. a great perk of the job, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a first time. The quarry so yeah. Bad. I've got to go to Italy to go check on this marble. Yeah, yeah. You yes. know, yeah, that's great. Well, that's. Um, yeah. That's really neat. I'm sure that's why some of these are, you know, high-end, big-ticket items is because yeah. they're from all over the world, and it's, you know, it's something that, that has to be imported, and it's probably yeah. and we hard, have to get, hard to get, we I'm sure. we got stuff here in the U.S. as well that mm -hmm. we've, we've seen and worked with before. So you can find people based on what price range that they're working, willing to work in. Mm -hmm. You've got, you know, Categories. you've got lots of different options for them. I think that's a big... Um, maybe a big roadblock for some people that don't know a lot about mm -hmm. this is they say, oh, well, I can't afford to do yeah. this. Yes. And honestly, you'd be surprised how many times I beat a laminate price. Right. From Lowe's or like, you know, one of the higher mm -hmm. end places, but I beat laminate a Well, lot this is a million times nicer than laminate ever <laughs> thought about being. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, the, the, the mm -hmm. things that you all install. And I, I want to thank you all for for being chamber members, I want you. I know it's a choice you've made, and I really yes. appreciate that, um, guys. Again, uh, bluegrass, marble, and granite. We're out here uh, on West Highway 80, right across from Bob McGalpin's, just down from Mac Metal, and, and kind of bookended between Mac Metal and Kentucky Farm Bureau uh, Insurance. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Guzman, Kevin, mm -hmm. thank you all thank very you. much for time. taking the time to do this, uh, guys. One of the things we talk about a lot is the importance of shopping local. So I'm yes. sure that, you know, it's real easy sometimes to think, oh, well, I need to go to Louisville or Lexington or Northern Kentucky to get, you know, high-end items. They're right here in our backyard. They're right here. So the next time you're thinking about doing a, a, an upgrade or a remodel to your home uh, or rental property, Airbnbs, I'm sure that's a All huge... There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of Airbnbs on Lake Cumberland down here. Russell Springs yep. and, and Pulaski County, Cal. just so many, right? So, you know, another thing, and they want those to be nice. They want those to be really nice. Shop local. You know, don't go out of town with your dollars. Keep them right here in Pulaski County, in, in the Lake Cumberland region. Spend those dollars right here with these guys. Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back in a couple... Uh, I think next week we have another virtual ribbon cutting, but until then, you'll be safe.